Welcome back, friends. I thank you for watching this far, because we have come upon the end of Govelius Valley of Doom. We have found the lair of the title villain, and Kalesis is at the peak of his strength. Will we be able to defeat Govelius and rescue the missing Princess Reyna? Let's find out. Spectacle Rock is an entrance to death. <clears throat> and we have a fiery uh, final horizontal dungeon with unique music. Interesting. Our standard bouncy snake. And our standard health pellets. And check that out, our maximum health is uh, now spanning all the way across to the right side of the screen. I feel mighty. Do you feel mighty? You should feel mighty, friends. Oh, and I just noticed the background is all veiny. That's kind of creepy. Um, can we break these? Yes! Excellent. Let's take the high side. And it looks like that was the right thing to do. Oop. Find the snake there, Galasis. Very good. Interesting that the game uh, gives you a horizontal dungeon for your uh, final, you know, end game sequence because they're generally easier than the overhead ones. Well, with the exception of Crockies, because uh, you will recall all the difficulty I had with that one. Hopefully this will not actually be as bad as Crockies. <clears throat> Galvelius, you can hide yourself in a fiery, veiny dungeon of death, but I'm coming for you! I will defeat you and save the princess. Oh, I hate these. I think I'm just gonna lock myself into the little pit down here and take as little damage as I can and just carve up the snake as quickly as possible. And hopefully I'll get most of that health back that I lost. Come on. Are we gonna die anytime soon, please? Please and thank you. These guys can take a beating. But not that much of a beating. And I got a full restoration. So I'm a happy Kalesis. And we come upon a big row of snake traps. Oh no. Whatever shall I do? This guy, it seems, wants to force me out of the back of the dungeon. But I will not allow it. I will not be forced out of your home, Golvelius. You cannot stop me with Paramecium alone. More snake. Not as bad as some of them. Not the one with the homing fireballs, and I'll gladly accept that compromise. And these fodder enemies can hardly hurt me at all at this point. It takes them several hits to remove even one uh, block of my life meter. So ha on them. There we go. This definitely does not seem as bad as Crockies, although it's probably going to make me eat my words now that I've said that. There's certainly a history of such things happening. I fear not the snake. I will probably make a health profit on the snake. And indeed I shall. Come on, Galvelius, where are you? You 
can't escape me forever. Okay, I bet I have to hit one of these things. That's the one. Man, when is this gonna end? Oh man, it's it's a really fast spewing snake. It's taxing the system with the sheer number of snakes it's spitting out. And it won't let me reach the pellet! I want the pellet! Ah! Got it. Okay, at least it didn't live for very long. We'll take uh, small blessings when we can. And we have most of our health back. Nay! Yes, most of our health back, yes. I don't think I can go up there, but that's alright. And I have reached! Galvilius himself! Oh, he is a fearsome looking sort. He will rush you, swing his swords, and occasionally spew a very nasty gout of fire, but the fortunate thing is, his fire can only go straight down. His uh, sword swinging rushes are the more dangerous thing. Ah! Especially given the amount of damage he does. You want to wait for those times when he's moving relatively slowly, and lay into him then. He's not a pushover, but he's not the toughest boss we fought, I don't think. So I think in the long run I will be alright. Fingers crossed. I see. He'll just rush at you if he doesn't think he's got a clean shot at you with the fire breath. Hopefully I can exploit that. Man, Galvelius hurts. I hate to think of the kind of damage he would do if I didn't have the heart pendant. And... Oh! He goes down! Giving us a full 18 health and 80 grand that we will never be able to do anything with. Calasis defeated Galvelius on the field of battle. Freed from Galvelius' confinement, Reyna at last reappears. All sorrow gone, Reyna's visage beams joyfully once again. As the pair exits the cave, Calasis' pocket explodes. Now, the seven crystals shine forth. The crystals fly into Galvelius' body. Which lives again. He's kind of cute, like a Pokemon or something. Not the evil Galvelius, but a kind and good Galvelius. The demon Goalus had trapped his kind soul in seven crystals. Peace again returns to the valley. Calasis and Reyna return to the kingdom of Aleid. Calasis decides to journey on. Reyna decides to accompany Calasis on his journey. As the two leave the kingdom, they are met by Golvelius. The three decide to venture forth together. Calasis, Reyna, and Golvelius. Set forth on a journey to find Calasis' long lost sister. The sun shines down on them protectively. watching over them as they set off. Isn't that sweet? Dum. And you know, could that be any closer to promising, you know, a sequel? That is the most obvious lead into a sequel that I've ever seen, and we never got it. I was looking forward to it so much as a kid, and, you know, I even imagined what it would be like. There would be, like, you know, this cool character-switching mechanism. Like, you know, Calasis would have his sword, or you could switch to Reyna for certain things. And Galvelius would probably be, like, the tank character, just stomping around, soaking up damage. It would have been so awesome, but... Of course, it never happened. And now, Compile is dead and buried. And we're, we're never gonna see that cool, you know, triple character... Galvelius sequel to find Reyna's, or Calasis's long lost sister, it even says to be fucking continued! 
Ah! No, I'm not over this. I will never be over this. <sighs> but all that aside... Uh, all that aside, this has been another edition of I Played a Thing. Gilvelius, Valley of Doom. I would like to thank you all once again for joining me. And I hope you've enjoyed the trip as much as I have. This game is uh, held up very well, I found, from the uh, favorite of my childhood. In any case, I hope you'll be looking for the next edition of I Played a Thing, and I hope to see you then. That's game, Hendrix.